In this video, we will look at how we can solve problems, such as x squared equals 8x minus 15. When a problem has an x squared in it, we can't just get the x alone or take the square root of both sides or something like that, because it's not really set up to do that easily. So we'll look at a different strategy. The strategy most often used when we see x squared is the zero product rule that says if we have two things multiplied together, that equals zero, either the first one of them is zero, or the second one of them is equal to zero. To make this property work, though, we need two important qualities. First, it must equal zero. Second, we must have factors. This problem has neither of those qualities, so we're going to need to do some work to get it into the form we want. First, let's make it equal to zero. This is the first step when solving by factoring. Keeping in mind where we're going, we like x squared to be positive when we factor. So let's move everything to the left side, keeping the x squared positive. We'll subtract 8x, and we will add 15. And when we do, we get x squared minus 8x plus 15 equals zero. Now that it equals zero, the first order of business is taken care of. Now we want to factor using the AC method. Multiplying to 15, adding to negative 8, and this is possible with negative 3 and negative 5. Because there's a 1 in front of x squared, we're allowed to take a shortcut and jump right to the factors. Again, this shortcut only works because there's a 1 in front of x squared, and we can take x in the first number, negative 3, x in the second number, negative 5, and we have our factors. Once we have two factors that equal 0, we know either the first factor, x minus 3 equals 0, or the second factor, x minus 5 equals 0. Quickly solve these by adding 3 to get our first answer, x equals 3, and adding 5 to get our second answer, x equals 5. We found these two solutions by first making the equation equal 0, and then factoring the resulting equation. Let's try one more example that's a little more involved. This problem we see is already factored. However, the problem is it does not equal 0. Because it does not equal 0, this factored form is really of no use to us. So let's multiply it out. x squared plus 3x minus 7x minus 21 equals negative 9. Combining like terms gives us x squared minus 4x minus 21 equals negative 9. Now we're ready to work it out. First, it must equal 0, so let's add 9 to both sides. This gives us x squared minus 4x minus 3, minus 2, sorry. How about 12? Ha! Huh. That's better. Equals 0. Now we're ready to factor it, because it equals 0 using the AC method, multiplying to negative 12 and adding to negative 4. And we can see the numbers there are 6 and 2 if the 6 is negative. And again, because we have a 1 in front of x squared, only because we have a 1 in front of x squared, we're allowed to use our shortcut and jump right to the factors x minus 6 and x plus 2. Once we're factored and equal to 0, we can take each factor, x minus 6, and set it equal to 0. x plus 2 equals 0. We can quickly solve these equations by adding 6 to get x equals 6, and subtracting 2 to get x equals negative 2. Solving equations with the zero product rule is a three-step process. First, make it equal 0 then factor, then set each factor equal to zero.